What is up, Trainters? Ludo here, back with another fabulous episode of Pokemon Go. And today we are hunting the neighborhoods for brand new Gen 4 Pokemon. We're gonna set a brand new magnetic lure, maybe a glacial one and a mossy one as well. Brand new lures into the game introduced yesterday along with brand new Pokemon. So today we are out and about on the hunt to get those new registrations. So yes, as I said, there are brand new lures in the game. We got them yesterday, a glacial, mossy, and magnetic lure. Much like a normal lure, they last for 30 minutes, but with these, they attract different kinds of Pokemon more attracted to those kind of conditions. And also under those conditions, you can evolve certain Pokemon. So we're gonna turn on a magnetic lure here. As you can see, the little animations there, they kind of float up with these like little magnetic steel bits as it builds. So now under these lures conditions, we can go to our Pokemon Magneton and we can evolve it into the brand new Gen 4 Pokemon Magnezone. Much looks like War of the Worlds kind of creature here once we get it. Sinnoh Evolution. Sorry if the wind is loud. There we go, brand new Sinnoh registration. There we go, 1824, brand new registration. Look at that thing, it's so cool. So there you go, be sure to get your Magnezone from your Magneton under a magnetic lure along with this because it involves a compass and whatnot. You can also evolve your nose pass. With that, you get the Gen 4 Sinnoh Pokemon Probopass, and its nose is always pointing to the north, so that's a magnetic thing, so you get that under the magnetic lure as well. And here we go, our big goofy Mario guy there. Brand new registration in the decks. 1519, not that bad, all right. Rock and steel, rock throw, rock slide, nice. I mean, it's a, it's a decent Pokemon. It's not that great in the meta for this game, but it's more of a novelty item, and a novelty item it is at that with that giant nose and mustache for sure. And with that, we get our register 80 Pokemon in the Sinnoh Dex. Yeah, sweet. So we're gonna hang out here, see what we can bring in with the lure for a bit, and then we'll head on to one of the next parks and pop the next lure. See you then. Okay, and now we have one of the brand new Gen 4 Pokemon, Chiram, and if I remember correctly, this is its uh, overcasted form. I believe if you have sunny weather, you get its open form. Um, the flowers are open on it. It's a little cherry Pokemon, if I remember. Also, ooh, don't run from me, please. If I remember correctly, it also evolves into Cherubi. Okay, come on, give it to me. One, two, all right, yay, new Gen 4 registration again. Three, two days so far. We should get a total of five at least. Now with this one, yay! Little grass cherry little thingy. It's super cute, I like it a lot. Halfway uh, up there, six, so max is at around 12-ish. Not bad. Anyways, let's keep the hunt going and see what we find next. Okay, so we're at another park here, and we're going to set the Mossy Lure. Now with this one, it will attract mostly, I would assume, grass Pokemon, poisonish type Pokemon and such. With that, you can also evolve an Eevee and get your Leafy on. So we have a 100% Eevee here, and you can use the name trick. So first for this one, the 100%, and yes, because we are under the lure, it already shows the Leafy on shadow. But with the name trick, you are guaranteed you don't have to be under a mossy lure to do that you can use that name Lenin Leanne I don't know how it's pronounced technically and you'll get yourself a gen 4 leafy on oh my god I'm so happy 100% leafy 
on, it's gonna be super low CPU watch because it was already 486. It's gonna take quite a while to power this thing up to be usable. There we go, our Gen 4 registration Leafeon from 2018. Yay! Razor Leaf and Solar Beam. I'm pretty sure that's probably its best move its best moveset. The other one we're going to do is this shiny here. So we're gonna get ourselves a shiny Leafeon as well. All of these, a majority of these came from uh, the EV community weekend, which was super exciting. Now we can finally cash in on those. Ugh, it's a darker green and kind of a darker tan. Oof, I have two Leafeons. I have two Leafeons, I love it. $25.91, that one is almost maxed out. Perfect, oh my dear, it's so pretty. Razor Leaf and Energy Ball. See, the Energy Ball's smaller, so. Oh man, it's so pretty. Oh golly gee. <laughs> And then we're going to do, it's a uh, low IV, but we got those flower EVs from that, uh, what was it? I don't really remember what the event was for. I think it was for Let's Go uh, release, and they had the flower-hatted uh, Pikachus and EVs. And now we have a flower little beret bowed little Leafeon. Mm. 2363, nice, nice up there too. Leafeon is actually really good in the meta and pretty good uh, with grass attacking. It's really good to use, so I'm super happy to have these. And for kicks and giggles, we already have a flower one, but a lucky EV into Leafeon, oh my god. I'm gonna have like so many Leafeons in my party, y'all already know. Oh, seriously. Oh my god. Yay. This one at least will be uh, not so harsh on the bank to power up. Ooh, it looks so good with that lucky background. Oof. And then last but not least, of course, gonna do another one in 96 here. Uh, I just can't keep from doing them. It's such a good Pokemon. It's so pretty. It is definitely, definitely my top five favorite Pokemon of all time. For sure, for sure. 2589, another good one. Yay! Oh my god. I'm so happy to see these in the game now. There we go, our small little party of five so far with our lucky and shiny Leafeon. Awesome. Love it. But for now, let's head on to another park and get a little icy. All right, we are at the next park and we are going to pop now. A glacial lure, let it snow. One of the prettiest effects, I would think, uh, in my opinion, with these new lures, that snow is really pretty. And now, under these conditions, we are going to, one, use that name trick here to get our first shiny Glaceon into the decks. Glaceon is quite the pretty shiny. It's, uh, in my opinion, it's like a deeper blue, and your normal Glaceon is a lighter blue. We'll be, able to, we'll be able to tell the difference after we do this, of course, but there we go, our registration as a shiny. 2556, close to maxed out there. Pretty nice, it's a gorgeous one. Now, with the lure, we're going to use this uh, other one, 87% here. Close to, uh, per, per, should be the around words and things, it should be close to the same CP as the other one. Sometimes it's hard to talk. There we go. See, it's just a lighter, it's a lighter blues in my opinion. 2680 there. I think that was higher actually. So we have our normal then are shiny. So yeah, the body, it seems a little lighter, but the blues, the blue on the feet and the ears seem to be a little darker. I actually kind of like the shiny way more. It seems like that should be the original in my opinion. But yes, our normal is higher than our shiny, unfortunately. But you know, that's kind of how it happens sometimes with the EVs. Kind of, you don't know. You could have a lower CP than the higher one and the one that's higher ends up getting a lower CP in the end. And for kicks and giggles, of course, our flowered EV that we're gonna turn into Glaceon here and get our flower topped bowed berade Glaceon. I don't know what you technically call it, it's not a hat. So, flower bowed, flower berade, more, it's probably more beret. I think beret fits better. 2115, little thing there with its cute little flowers, and of course, our lucky as well, getting all 
three, four of those different form evolutions of Gen 4 brand new Pokemon in the collection here. Yay. There it is with that lucky background. 13, 16, not too bad there. Pretty good for a great league. So I've noticed with these lures that they do bring in quite a lot more Pokemon, in my opinion, than normal lures. And the types you get are pretty vast. So it almost seems like if they can learn an ice move, you're probably gonna get that to show up for the lure as well. We got a Larion with the magnetic lure along with Beldums and a bunch of different magnetic types, electric types. With the Mossy lure, we got Talos, Gulpins, Krogunk, and just, you know, a lot of kind of normal ground grass types. And so far with this glacial one, we've gotten some water and ice type ones, go figure. Guarantee from these you could probably pull in an Obama snow. Wow, speak of the devil, a snover at least. That was pretty funny. <laughs> And it might actually be uh, useful in maybe pulling in a Lapras for somebody lucky out there. So be sure to be banking in on these lures. Right now they are in the store and they do cost coin, but they did state in their article that within time they will release these two trainers as rewards for, uh, I think it said PVP. So do not fret. I know you feel that it may be locked behind money, but if you wait, you can get them as rewards later on. For now, you also can go out and find other people who have set these lures and you can use them. They act just like other lures. If they are active, you can utilize it. So being done with the lures, we're gonna try and find ourselves one more Gen 4 Pokemon out there. There's Gibble, there's Shellos, and there's Burmy. So one of those maybe we can find on our way home. Maybe we'll even find it at home. So we'll see you where we see you. Okay, so we have here a Burmy hanging out at the top of the screen there. Wow, he is uh, way up there. Driving on our way home, turned a corner. Of course, it was in a random little uh, convenient, uh, convenience store gas station parking lot. He is really high up there. It is really high up there. Come on, give me that brand new registration. Yeah! Six total brand new registrations for the day. Little Burmy comes in three different forms. Don't know how you obtain the other ones. I assume that they're just, you know, kind of wild and whatnot and you encounter them as you do. It does evolve as well. 50 candies. Be a minute till we get there, but six brand new registrations with our Burmy here. Ooh, and a Pikachu, to, not a Shiner. That being that, we'll see you back at home. All right, we are back home now, and I have to say what a day. I haven't had an exciting Pokemon adventure, even though it was just super simp. Brand new registrations and brand new Pokemon in the decks, in the collection. Super exciting. I'm super happy. We got one of the three Burmy forms, one of the Chiram forms, and I've caught quite a few of them so far. We got our new arsenal of Leafeons and Glaceons. We got our Easter Island Mario Probo Pass, and and our War of the World Magnazone. Six brand new registrations. I do not remember the last time I did that in one day. Last but not least, we have uh, two used five berries while catching a Pokemon. I know that it's all changed, so I have no idea what it is now. Please be something good. I mean, it's still a chance for a hundo, so. But with that, we're gonna wrap it up here. Now you know how to get yourself a Leafeon, Glaceon, Probopass, or Magnezone. Be sure to get yourself those lures while you can, if you can, and if you gotta wait, patience will make you wiser. So with that, scroll down, give me that like, maybe consider subscribing if you are not, and if you are subscribed, be sure to hit the notification button next to the subscription button so that way you're notified of the next adventure. And we'll see you then, Trainters. Stay fabulous. Bye.